This is it, guys. Last man standing here. Bash! Oh, <laughs> KO punch! Oh, script on him there. I cross body! Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder! Oh, man! Whoa, not so fast. Oh, earth shattering spine buster. Ah, stop in the leg. Just nasty. Producing a trampling. Bray Wyatt. And a suplex. Ever since the lights dimmed and the sadistic superstar entered the squared circle for the first time, opponents have been trying to figure out how to beat Kane. Uh, he's a seven-foot demon with psychological issues, a hat of setting fire to things and kidnapping folks. Uh, yeah, good luck figuring out that puzzle. Corey, how does the fact that a match like this can go all over an arena factor into a competitor's strategy? What makes getting and keeping the advantage all the more important. Battling in different parts of the arena can add more impact to your offense. Buster! Bray Wyatt on the defensive. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Oh, look at that. Scoop slam! Kane's enjoying himself now. Snap suplex. Very effective. Toss to the outside. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Dominating cross body. Trying to focus on ways to defeat Kane. Byron implied it's almost impossible to do so. How about it, Corey? Any suggestions? I don't want to try and be cute here, but with Kane, you've got to fight fire with fire. He loves to deliver the tombstone, but he's also very susceptible to the tombstone. And it's Bray Wyatt executing the reversal. Big. And look at the quickness by Wyatt. A oh, striking blow. Now we have Kane on the attack. Scoop slam. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. What's he got in mind? The one and only! One! Two! On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of ten, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. Oh, it's Wyatt turning the tables. This is going to be bad. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Back in from the floor. And it's Bray Wyatt executing the reversal. Find the star. And the guys in the locker room may not admit it, but none of them have slept the same since. Three, what fiendish four, things are going through that demented mind right now? Five, this match ain't over yet. 
I have to agree with your recollection of Bray Wyatt's WWE debut, Corey. The atmosphere dramatically changed once Bray made his chilling walk to the ring, surrounded by the light of his devout fireflies. And let's remember the monsters he brought with him. This is a last man standing match, and the physical Two. punishment has begun to take its toll. Three. for the second rope driving down I, I just can't get over the physicality of this match it has been absolutely brutal sister Abigail now Whoa. that is the kind of move that wins matches now Bray Wyatt needs to capitalize on this opportunity boy does he ever Suplex. Incredible One. action in this match so far. Two. Three. The Wyatt family Four. is a proud and loud bunch, as you can see. Got it done. The Big Red Monster! The following contest is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring from Parts Unknown. Weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! I still cannot get that image of... Out of my mind from Bad Blood 1997, one of my first months in the company, when Kane appeared and changed WWE forever. The seven-footer tore the door clean off of the Hell in a Cell structure and has destroyed everything in his way since. The symphony of destruction resumes. And his opponent weighing in at 385 pounds. Strowman! I would do anything not to get stuck inside the ring with Braun Strowman. Oh, uh, Byron, I would pay all of my bank account to watch you get these hands. Now, quiet, quiet. I don't want him to hear you. Remember that time he threw you around? <laughs> yeah, Byron, because I'm a man and I stand up for myself. I don't run away and hide in the locker room like a little girl. I remember things slightly differently. I was there too, but someone is going to get these hands. Such a psychological component to this type of matchup. Corey, how can you get into an opponent? At this point, your opponents had enough of your mind games. No simple pinfall would be satisfactory. There are no rules, no barriers, and no mercy. The question is, who can jump out in front for an early advantage? You have to do whatever it takes to keep your opponent down for the count. And they have to know there's no limit to what you're willing to do. And remember, as Corey said, no pinfalls here. Only one can stand victorious. 
just unmatched power from the monster among men. You know what gorillas call that? A Strowman press. <laughs> you like that? Yep. In a bad way here, guys. Shoulder right to the midsection. Kane with the excellent move to get out. Those non-stop blows. Fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. And that's got to send a chill up anyone's spine. Stomping down. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Wicked body shot. What's Kane thinking? Here at WWE, we see a lot of guys with monikers that call out what makes them more than just an average man. The Viper, the Beast, even the Dead Man. But Braun Strowman's title clarifies that he's not even a man at all. He's a monster among men. Corey, how does the fact that a match like this can go all over an arena factor into a competitor strategy? What makes getting and keeping the advantage all more important? Battling in different parts of the arena can add more impact to your offense. When Kane goes on a tear like this, you can see just how dominant he is. He can rock opponents from practically anywhere we're in the feeling out process here who's going to get the advantage and maintain control you'd be hard pressed to find a more fitting nickname for braun than the monster among men so i'd have to agree with byron we've seen braun go through his opponents with a power and tenacity that can only be called inhuman this is a guy who manhandles smaller opponents like stuffed animals and makes even his most imposing competition look just like another victim for the monster to crush. Three. I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go full steam ahead. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Last man standing match. Nobody's leaving this one as friends. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one.
And he's heading back in. Buster. Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Looking at the demonic behemoth known as Kane out there. I've got to ask, Corey, how in the world can you beat him? Well, it won't be easy, that's for sure. But I think back to the last man standing match when Braun Strowman dropped the entire staging area on top of Kane. Try that. Maybe that'll work. Boom! Back drop suplex. What a high angle right across the shoulders. Kane leaving scorched destruction in his wake. Keeping the pressure on. Gets him with the steps. I believe that's twice now with those steps. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. Whoa. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. These guys have to knock each other down to the point that their opponent can't get up. Corey brought up the time when Braun Strowman dropped the staging area on Kane, and even that couldn't stop him. After the show, Kane crawled off the medical facility exam table and left the building. So the short answer is drop something heavy on Kane, and you might have a chance. A slim chance, but a chance. This match ain't over yet. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Strowman is feeling it right here. In the face! like to look in his eye here, folks. Here we go. A big height, bigger impact. Kane's enjoying himself now. Man, this has been a great matchup. What a match! This is a last man standing match, and the physical punishment has begun to take its toll. Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Oh, he's going to be crushed inside. Braun Strowman is going to have to revise his game plan. Because right now, the one he's using ain't working. Turn out the lights. This one's over. There's just no way he'll be able to answer a 10 count now. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. it really relying on that tonight looks like Kane is starting to turn it way up that's what he does keep on the attack
What fiendish things are going through that demented mind right now? Reversal by Braun Strowman. We will go on. Up and... Back Ouch. suplex into the slam. Not over yet. What's he got in mind? Absolutely sickening. Kane's starting to look tired. Now he's looking off his game now. And the big guy is feeling awfully good about himself right now. Back in the ring now. Oh, the monster among men with freakish strength. Way up there. Excellent move to get out. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Yep. 
And no luck against Kane there. Big. Great reflexes. Haymaker connects. Wicked body shot. Oh, flipping the script on him there. It's not looking good for him here. He's got to get out of that corner. And it's Kane answering back. Non-stop blows. And that's got to send a chill up anyone's spine. Terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. A striking blow. Oh man, incredible impact! Strowman. Oh my gosh, from what heights? This match ain't over yet. Love it fancy here. Big breaker and backbreaker. And this match is going to continue. There, KO punch, wicked body shot, attack to the midsection. Oh, oh and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Yet another counter. Both somehow one step ahead of each other. Kane's enjoying himself now.
to hell. Head to the pen window. Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. say often, but this is how you overcome a monster among men. And he picks up the win. Wow. We just saw a monster slayer strike right before our very eyes. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.